Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. This concept was established by Einstein's equation E equals mc squared and has been confirmed by numerous experiments. Therefore, energy has always existed and will always exist. This means that our current concept of time where everything has a beginning and an end is false. If we follow this line of reasoning, it should be obvious that any scientific theory that describes the origins of the universe is not actually describing the origin of energy but rather of one particular expression of that energy. Science traces the origins of the universe to a timeless and motionless state called the singularity. Since the singularity is timeless, it cannot be talked about as before or after anything. If something exists but is not before or after anything, then it is now. Therefore, the singularity is now. Again, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Therefore, all of the energy in existence is present in a singularity. Time and space are one fabric. You cannot have one without the other. This is a basic premise of modern physics. There is no time in the singularity, therefore there is no space in the singularity. Without space and time, there can be no separation or individuation. Therefore, energy cannot be separated from the singularity. It is one entity, a unified monolithic field with no boundaries, and it cannot be broken up or divided in any way. This is the eternal and omnipresent root of the universe. This is the essence of what we are. And yet the relative universe exists. Separation and individuation exist. How do we reconcile this? How can two people sit down and have a conversation if they are both expressions of the same indivisible field of energy? A good way to conceptualize this is to use the metaphor of a video game on your computer. The characters in the game are all running on the same hardware. Their spatial separation is illusory, and their time-based interactions are expressions of pre-existing possibilities within this framework. It is the encoding of time that creates the possibility of interaction both in a video game and in the real world. In the video game, that code of time is stored with all the probabilities and possible outcomes coexisting on a disk. In the real world, the code of time with all the probabilities and possible outcomes resides in the singularity. This does not imply that our lives are predetermined and free choice is impossible. All probabilities, all possible outcomes coexist in one moment. But in each moment, we choose from those probabilities and our lives are expressions of those choices. These choices aren't always rational or constructive, but this is due largely to a distorted view of who we are. If rather than viewing ourselves as strictly isolated individuals at odds with the outside world, we viewed ourselves as part of a single unified field of existence, how might that change the way we interact? How would we treat others if we understood that everything we do to them, we are actually doing to ourselves? Think about it. If you'd like more content like this, please subscribe to this channel, Storm Clouds Gathering, on YouTube. For updates and bonus content, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Storm Clouds Gathering, on Twitter at Collapse Updates, and our website, stormcloudsgathering.com.